placentation. The placenta is that part on the ovary wall where the ovule or a seed is attached. So this is the placenta. Attaching the ovule in a flower to the placenta is a stock known as a follicle. That is a funicle. But placentation therefore refers to the arrangement of the ovules in an ovary of a flower or can also refer to the arrangement of seeds because the ovule develops into a seed. So it can also refer to the arrangement of seeds in a fruit. That is, placentation refers to the arrangement of the ovules in an ovary of a flower or the arrangement of seeds in a fruit. There are different types of arrangements. That is, there are different types of placentation in plants. So here you can see this depending on the arrangement and the number. In this second tab here, this one we have an ovary that has several ovules and they're all attached to the placenta. That is the placenta. So the way the ovules or the seeds are arranged and attached to the placenta is what is referred to as the placentation. There are five types of placentation. We look at each in turn. The first one is known as basal placentation. And in basal placentation, the placenta is found at the base of the ovary. Here is a placenta where one or more ovules or seeds are attached. So this is in longitudinal section. This is how an ovary would with basal placentation look like, or a fruit with basal placentation look like. This is a transverse section where we have several seeds. If you have to cut the fruit transverse like that, then we're going to have this view. An example of a fruit that has basal placentation is the mango. This is the mango fruit. Here's a seed and it is attached the placenta here so that is one seed but remember in basal placentation the fruit may have one or more seeds attached to the base of the ovary wall or the base of the fruit wall a second type of placentation is known as marginal placentation as the term marginal refers means the seed or the ovule is attached to the margins. That is the placenta is located along the margins of the ovary or the fruit wall. This is where you have the placenta. So this is in transverse section. If you cut the fruit like that, you have this transverse section. Unless in longitudinal section, the seeds are arranged in more or less a straight line since the placenta is along the margin of the fruit wall. A good example is a pea pod. Here you have the seeds arranged along the margin. Even bean pods have marginal placentation. So in marginal placentation, since the placenta is found along one ridge on the wall of the ovary, or on the wall of the fruit wall, then the ovules or seeds are attached to the placenta, forming a row. Thirdly, we have the axial placentation. In axial placentation, there are several ovaries or couples that are fused. So axial placentation arises from a syncapus, the syncapus of a gynoesium. 
in which there are several couples that fuse together to form a central placenta in the axis formed by the couples. So here, this is your, the first couple, this is the second, in this particular case, the third. They are fused and the placenta are thus located at the center. So it is central. And for that reason, axial placentation is also sometimes referred to as central placentation because the placenta is located at the center, especially when viewed in a transverse section. This comes about when you have a seen capus genoesium with several uh, ovaries that have been fused. In longitudinal section, the placenta is still at the center and it forms the axis the main axis of the fruit or the ovary and then the seeds or the ovules are attached to it so this is the transfer section the placenta at the center and these are the seeds or the ovules and then here the longitudinal section a good example is found in the citrus fruit such as the orange so the seeds will be located here these are not so clear but uh, these are the seeds will be located this is a longitudinal section where the placenta forms the main axis so it makes the axial presentation or in a transverse section so this is a transverse section that is a longitudinal section see the seeds are attached to the central placenta this is the placenta so orange fruit, lemon fruit, and even tomato fruit have axial placentation. The next you have the parietal placentation. In the parietal placentation, which is formed, just like in the case of the axil, is formed from a syncapus gynoesium. The several couples fuse with the placentas on the outer ovary wall. So the, the only difference is that the placenta are located on the outer. This is where the placenta is on the outer walls of the ovary or the fruit. In the axil, the placenta are at the center. That's the main difference between parietal placentation and the axil placentation. So the, then the other point of difference in the Parietal placentation is that the dividing walls between the ovaries that are fused disappear, leaving one large locule. There's one large locule. In the axial placentation, the dividing wall still remains, but in the parietal placentation, it disappears. So the ovules or the seeds are attached on the ovary walls on the on the on the sides. Example of fruits that have parietal presentation include the purple fruit and the passion fruit. You can see in the purple fruit this ovary uh, so the, the placenta where the seeds are attached on the sides. So this is in the transverse section. And this is the longitudinal section. So the parietal arrangement is more clearly shown in the transverse section. Just like in the passion fruit, these are the seeds that attach to the placenta on the sides. So that is what parietal presentation is. And then lastly, there's a free central presentation free central placentation. This is also formed from a syncapus gynoesium, just like in the axil, and in the case of the parietal placentations. Only that the walls that separated initially the couples disappear, leaving one large locule. 
but the, the main difference is that uh, these, the placenta is found on one side, not along the margins or at the center. It's found towards one side of the wall. This is a longitudinal section. This is a placenta. And this is a transfer section. That is, if the fruit was to be cut like this, then this is how the seeds would appear to be arranged. But longitudinal section gives the best uh, illustration of the free central placentation. That is, the locule is not divided into any compartments and then the placenta is found on one side of the wall to the placenta several seeds or ovules are attached so a good example is the capsicum fruit this is a placenta and here are the seeds that are attached to it